Hey guys and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to do something very very simple. It's also going to be a foundation Friday so welcome back for that. Um, a while back Shani Cosmetics sent me a foundation and it was in DC2. And if I could find a picture of myself wearing this foundation I'll put it here in the video. And my only issue with it was, if I can remember correctly, was the color. I said if it was a little deeper, I may, be, may have been able to work with it a little better. So they heard me, they saw the video, and they sent me DC3. I think that if I can recall, because it's been a while, a few months, but I, if I could recall, I liked the matteness in the foundation. It did leave me nice and matte and being oily skinned. That worked out very well for me. Uh, the name of the foundation is called Perfect Canvas Foundation. And it says that it's infused with vitamins A, C, and E. It's talc free. They're also cruelty free. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do all of my makeup since I've already pretty much reviewed the foundation before. We just want to see what it looks like in another color. So I'm going to start off with my brows. I ran out of my normal eyeshadow primer, but as you can remember, I did try out the e.l.f. one in Mocha or Cocoa. It really didn't give much color on darker skin. So I thought it was going to mute out uh, my lids for me so I wouldn't have to make the step of putting concealer on my lids or a base but as you can see it's not very deep now some people like to do their foundation and everything and then do their brows last i like to do my brows first so i'm just taking a spoolie and brushing them up the way i want them and i do have some brow tutorials of course on my channel from when my eyebrows were very tiny and thin to when they got a little thicker, sometimes I can draw them on a bit thicker, sometimes not. And this pencil I'm using is actually from the Beauty Supply Store. I think this is Ruby Kisses, and this is in black brown. So it couldn't have been more than about a dollar or two. So I do have a few brow hairs that want to do what they want to do, sticking all out and everything. I'm going to apply a little bit of brow gel. This is also from e.l.f. from their Active line. Okay guys, I'm going to try out a new uh, primer today for my foundation. We're going to work on the brows again, but after I apply foundation, just follow me. I'm going to use the All Hours Primer, and this is from YSL. And I've seen a lot of people talking about this uh, primer that says it's very silky smooth. Uh, it has SPF 18. This is what the bottle looks like. And they said it just like blurs out your pores and make everything look so nice and neat. I can hear that it's a very watery. And it is indeed very watery. So we're going to see how this works. Okay, so it is very smooth. And it does, like as you start wiping it on, it does have the feeling of lotion. There's not a crazy smell or anything to this. All right, guys, so I'm going to try this out and let you guys know on the next Foundation Friday how this worked out. I'm going to go right into the foundation. All right, so I have a damp beauty sponge right here. Nice and damp. And we're going to put one full pump. Uh-oh. So be very careful. It shoots out of there. So we see the discoloration. We see what's going on on this side of the face. We see this side of the face under here. And let's see how much coverage we can get. Now I'm going to have the price for this foundation in the video. Because I honestly cannot remember how much it was. You see, I'm also going over my eyelids with it. All right, guys, I completed one side of my face. It is a little deeper and everything, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. I'm, I think I'm having a reaction to something. It's not the foundation. It can't be because I've used their foundation before just in a different shade. So it could be the primer. 
It could be the primer. Something in the foundation or something in this primer is not working well together. So we're going to go ahead and wipe that off. But I can feel the heat around my eyes. I can feel it around my nose and cheeks. Uh -uh. And guys, I'm going to tell you, this side of my face with the primer alone is fine. There's no irritation or burning feeling or warm feeling on my face. But the side that I put the foundation on top of the primer, that's the side that seems to be a little irritated. And I'm, I'm not, I don't know, it's something. These two don't mix. No, that has never happened to me with any foundation or any primer. So I don't know. Let me go back to what I normally use. Okay, I'm going to go get a cool washcloth, just some plain water, wipe my face. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I feel so much better, so much better. It's like it was heat, not necessarily, I, I don't know. It felt like if someone slapped you in the face and you got mad, that type of heat was building up on this side of my face. All of this was getting very heated. I've never felt that before in my life. Okay, so I don't know what reaction that was. We're going to try this one more time with my Smashbox. That's the one I normally use on Foundation Fridays when I'm trying something new. Okay, we're going to shake it up again. And we're trying on shade DC3. All right. And it shoots out. That That is crazy. It shoots out of here. So be very careful, especially if you, you know, you're already dressed and everything. Please be careful. All right, so we're going to apply this again, starting with this side of the face. Now, this foundation, I wasn't too pleased with the smell of it the first time, and now I'm smelling that same smell again. Not too happy with that. Oh my goodness, guys. No, I think it's the foundation. Mm -mm. It's the foundation. No, I could feel it again, that heat. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, we're going to call this a foundation fail. I don't know what happened between the lighter shade in this and the darker shade in this but unfortunately I have to say it's causing me some sort of irritation and I'm trying to I don't want to speak against anybody's company at least not in that way because that is that that's not what I'm about but to clean my face to have it feel normal again and I assume it would be this primer but and because it's new to me and then to put the foundation over that and feel the way it felt, took the primer away, washed my face, came back. And after washing my face with just plain water and coming back, my face felt cool again. It felt fine. When I put the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer on my face, it feels smooth and good again. And then I put the foundation back on my face and my face said no. No, that, that burning sensation came right back. I haven't done anything strange to my face within the last, since the last Foundation Friday. Nothing strange. Nothing. But my face is not feeling this foundation today. It is not feeling it. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to let that go. Okay, guys? So, we're just going to go ahead and use one of our old trusted foundations um from a while back this is very strange this is i don't know how to put this without being you know i, I don't want wow anyway so that is my foundation friday i had a fail and then i had a recover and then I had a pass. <laughs> so that is what we're dealing with. I will come back and try out the YSL uh, primer again and see how it fares with something else. 
Um, it has the SPF 18 in it. So I'm very, very curious. They said that it should be um, something that you can wear out in the daytime all day. It says all hours primer. So we're going to see. I know for a fact that now, well, I now I know for a fact that it was the foundation because I, I wiped all of the primer out off and tried it with the foundation. Maybe something they put in that deeper shade to make it deeper. I don't know, but it wasn't agreeing with my skin. And I wasn't about to take chances because this is what I do, you know. So I had to wipe that off. I was going to push through, but I said, no, my face look, feels like, oh, my good. I never felt that before. I, I don't know if you've ever had an allergic reaction to anything. So I didn't know what to do. I was like freaking out mentally. We have a nice, beautiful makeup look. I'm very pleased with it. I hope you guys are too. And we shall come back on a positive note about Shani Cosmetics. I am a huge fan of their eyeshadows. I am a huge fan of their blushes. No problems. That is their eyeshadow right there on the eyelids. This is their blush. I really like it. Super pigmented. Uh, all of their palettes. They did send me a large box of their pigments that I'm going to get into hopefully this week. So that's as much as I can tell you, but everything on their site is very affordable. So if you're looking for some nice eyeshadows, go ahead and check it out. All right, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Cyber kisses. Bye.